Yellow, Ralph McIntyre here from Astro Map Links. In this video, I want to talk about Mars and Libra, square the nodes in Capricorn and Cancer. So Mars, Mars is our the planet that rules how we assert ourselves. It's it's kind of the masculine energy in our in our persona. It's also represents courage and how we deal with fear. So right now that that Mars is also kind of an aggressive or, or an active energy. It's how we kind of move forward. It kind of is what gets us up in the morning, so to speak, is that Mars energy. It's passion. It's kind of wants to take charge. So sitting in Libra, well, Libra is a very relationship oriented sign. It's the balance between us and, and uh, our needs and their needs or my needs and your needs in relationship. And so with, with that Mars Mars and Libra, we're looking at how we assert ourselves and how we relate to others. But because it's interacting with the South Node right now and the North Node, we have to look at the karmic axis. And I'm noticing a lot of people have a lot of energy coming up around this particular subject right now. So because it's that, that Mars is ruled by Venus. Mars is the active male energy, the female, the Venus is that female attractive, what you're attracted to, what calms you energy. And, and so the two of them are interacting in the sense that, because Mars is ruled by Venus right now. And then also Venus in Scorpio is ruled by Mars. So there's, it's kind of a, a little bit of a mutual reception there. And so this is happening at the same time it's interacting with the nodal structure. And that's kind of where the trouble becomes. And also because Venus is in Scorpio, we have to look to Pluto energy. So part of what's coming up is an opportunity to look at how we assert ourselves, what triggers us in relationship, relating to other people our sexuality. Venus is also in the Scorpio sign, which is that deep need to bond, you know. So it's like Mars is more of kind of an aggressive kind of, um, uh, I want to say shallow energy. It's not that Mars is shallow. It's more that that Venus in Scorpio is a much more deeper soul level bonding. And so that Mars wants to connect in Libra, and that Venus really wants it to be a soul level bonding. And then all of that is interacting with the nodes. So karmically, where, where you're lit up, or childhood trauma, or issues with parents, and all that kind of stuff is being stimulated right now. And because the, the, the Capricorn, Saturn, Pluto, and then Pluto rules um, Scorpio, or the Venus, we have to really look deep into the subconscious. And so if you're feeling agitated by this transit, my suggestion is to really kind of breathe into it. Look underneath the covers, Pluto, so that Scorpio energy wants to see the truth. And, and one of the truths for that Scorpio energy is that deep soul level bonding, letting go of the boundary between me and you. You know, and so one of the things with Mars is conflict. You know, so are you holding on to things that no longer serve you? Are you holding on to identities that no longer serve you? Are you holding on to images of the male energy that no longer serve you? All of these things are being stimulated right now. So in this time, it's really good. It's a really good opportunity to let go of old patterns. Anytime we're dealing with the South Node or Pluto, it's time to let go of old patterns. So remember, don't overreact Mars and look at what's really being lit up. Be truthful with yourself. That Scorpio Venus wants you to look deep inside and look at what's really going on. Don't project it out onto someone else, but look deep inside. All right, I hope you find this video helpful. I'm trying to put a lot more videos up on this channel, so I would suggest you click like and subscribe and click the notification bell. All right, thanks for watching. This is Ralph McIntyre with Astro Matt Links.